Continuing with MCQ 7, this is another question with respect to ideal gas, particularly the calculation portion of it. So scanning through the information in this question, you can see that we are dealing with solid sodium azide Na and 3, and upon decomposition, nitrogen gas as well as metallic sodium is produced. So just to start off first by writing an equation, we're going to have your Na and 3 solid decomposing to form nitrogen gas together with metallic so, yeah. so just to balance out the equation, I'll be putting a 3 over 2 in front of my nitrogen. The starting info states that we have 5 grams of your sodium azide at the start. And we're tasked to find out the volume of nitrogen gas produced with the pressure measure at 9.85 times 10 to the power 4 pascal as well as a temperature of 30 degrees Celsius. So let's just do some more calculation work first. The number of mole of so then A z will be equal to 5 divided by 65. And using the ratio of 1 is a 3 over 2. Let's use this to find out the number of mole of nitrogen. 1 over 3 over 2. That means that the number of mole of nitrogen will be equal to the number of mole of N, A, and 3 multiplied by 3 over 2. Working it out, it will be a 5 over 65 times 3 over 2 and this will give us a 4 SF value of 0 0.1154. Alright, so for the purpose of presentation I'll just play as 4 SF but you know that for calculation just use the full value and inherit into the next part of the equation. So now slotting it into our ideal gas equation PV equals to NRT. Just as a reminder, pressure should manifest as Pascal, volume as meters cubed and temperature as Kelvin. On the other hand, your R, which is your gas constant, is at 8.314. We definitely do a little bit of a conversion for the case of your temperature at 30 degrees here by summing it up with another 273. So to show our volume, just to rearrange the equation, volume will be equal to nRT divided by pressure. And here itself is the number of mole which is inherited at 0 0.1154. Do use the full value. Multiply by your 8.314. Multiply by 30 plus 273 to change your degree Celsius to your Kelvin. And divided by the pressure which is already at Pascal at 9.85 times 10 to the power of 4 Pascal. So this will finally give us a result of 0 0.00295 meters cube. However, as you're scanning through the answers, they actually presented all in the M cube. So a slight conversion here. Some useful chart to remember over here could very much be your conversion table for volume. So if let's say we have our DM cube. To convert to meter cubes, so we multiply by 10 to the power of negative 3. If we have CM cube, to convert the meters cube, we multiply by 10 to the power of negative 6. So once we have actually our meter cube, to come back towards the m cube, I'll just multiply by 10 to the power of 3. So my final answer over here after conversion would actually be at 2.95 dm cube. And this corresponds to the option of D.